Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we will join Eloise as she investigates what happens to the surface area of a rectangular based prism if the dimensions are increased. She does some experiments with matchboxes. Why don't you get a couple of matchboxes ready so you can do the experiment with her. Let's join her now. This prism has a length of three units, a breadth of one unit and a height of two units. What is the total surface area of this prism? Let's take one square as a square unit. Then we can just count the squares. There are three here on top and another three underneath. Six on each of these sides and two on either end. That makes 12 plus 6 plus 4 square units, which comes to 22 square units. If we double all the dimensions of the structure, what do you expect to find about the new total surface area? Will it be doubled or more? How much more? This length becomes 6, this length becomes 4, and this length here becomes 2 units. Do you agree? We have doubled each length of the original prism. Doubling all the lengths makes the structure a whole lot bigger. Do you think the surface area has been doubled, or perhaps enlarged 4 times, or 8 times more? The surest way of knowing is to count the blocks. Remember that each one is a square unit. We get 12 on the top and the bottom, 24 here and here, and 8 on each end. That's 24 and 48 and 16, which comes to 88 square units. 88 is four times as much as 22. So doubling all the dimensions of the original structure creates a surface area that is four times more than the surface area of the original structure. What is interesting here is that areas are measured in square units. The total surface area is a squared measurement. Squaring lengths that are doubled results in an area four times bigger. So if the length, the breadth and the height are all doubled, it is not surprising that the area is four times bigger. Let's see what we can find out about surface area when only one of the dimensions of a structure is increased. You can use your matchboxes for this activity. Have a look at this matchbox. In a previous lesson, we measured all its sides and we found that this side was 5,2 centimeters. This side here was 3,7 centimeters and the height here was 1,6 centimeters. To find the surface area of the matchbox, we found the area of each of its surfaces. These two surfaces will be 5,2 centimeters times 3,7 centimeters each. Remember that the answer you will get will be in square centimeters. These two will be 3,7 centimeters times 1,6 centimeters and these two will be 1,6 centimeters times 5,2 centimeters. When we add all these surfaces together, we get 66,96 square centimeters. This is almost 67 square centimeters. Now here's my question to you. We have made a new structure by gluing three matchboxes together like this. Estimate what you think the surface area of this new structure is. Take a guess using what you have seen in this lesson already. Did you guess that we should take 67 and multiply by 3? Have we made our surface area three times bigger? Although the shape is three times bigger, we have to think about this. We need to base our estimate on what we know about the different types of surface. 
We have only two of these small surfaces, which are 1,6 cm times 3,7 cm. That came to 12 cm squared if we round it off. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of these surfaces. That is three times more than we had before. We had about 40 square centimeters, so that's about 3 times 40, which is 120. And then these surfaces, 3 at the top and 3 at the bottom. That's also 6, 3 times more than on one box. We had about 17 centimeters squared, so 3 times 17 is 51. Our estimate is about 12 plus about 120 plus about 51, which is about 183 square centimeters. I will leave it to you to find out how close to the exact measurements we were. What is important here is this. When we made the length three times longer, we kept the breadth and the height the same. We cannot assume that the new surface area is three times bigger. We need to consider which surfaces have increased in size. These side surfaces are three times longer. These top and bottom surfaces are three times longer. But these surfaces have stayed the same. Thank you for joining us. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Introducing Measurement Task video. You'll also be able to learn more about measurement on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.